Okay, so uh, we've uh, we've got a curve with the following equation. We want to find a, an expression for dy by dx in the simplest terms of x and y for five marks. So it's implicit differentiation. So let's give it a go. So let's differentiate both sides with respect to x as always. Okay, let's differentiate each component of, of each side. So this is the same as ddx of x squared. Subtract ddx of 4xy plus ddx of 2y squared. And ddx of 1 is clearly 0. So this is 2x here, this differential. We're going to do this by the product rule where our u is 4x, let's say, and our v is uh, y, so uv, so we're going to subtract all of the following, uv dash, so 4x ddx of y, uh, plus vu dash, so plus y ddx of 4x, and then this differentiate implicitly is clearly 4y dy dx equals 0, we're nearly there, we just have to uh, tidy this up a bit. So we have 2x subtract 4x, this will be dy dx. And d dx of 4x is 4, so this is going to be subtract 4y plus 4y dy dx equals 0. So let's collect dy dx's. How many dy dx's do we have? Well, we have 4y minus 4x. And if we add uh, 4y to both sides and subtract 2x, we would have 4y subtract 2x on that side. Okay, and we could div divide both sides by 2, so dy dx, 2y minus 2x is going to be equal to 2y minus x. And then dy dx, actually working out, is going to be 2y subtract x all over 2y subtract 2x and we're done for the first part. And depending how you divided and subtracted it, you may have also got x subtract 2y over 2x subtract 2y. Uh, you may have also got uh, that, which is the exact same thing as this. For parts B and C now, we're asked to show that the tangent to the curve at 1, 2 has the following equation. Now, from part A, we got dy by dx was the following. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out dy dx when x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. So we're going to substitute those in there. So it would be 2 times 2 subtract 1, all divided by uh, 2 times 2 subtract 2 times 1, which is going to be equal to um, 3 over 2. So that's the gradient of the tangent. So we're going to use y subtract y1 is m x subtract x1, and we're going to say that y subtract 2 is 3 over 2 x subtract 1. And doubling both sides, uh, we're going to get ourselves 2y subtract 4, and multiplying by 3 is 3x subtract 3. The way they want it here is um, subtract 2y and add 4 to both sides, so 0 is equal to 3x subtract 2y and plus 1, and that's exactly how it is in the question. Then it says the tangent to the curve at the point Q, the tangent to the curve at a different point Q is parallel to the tangent at P. Find the coordinates of Q. Okay, so the tangent at a different point is parallel to the tangent at P. Now, what was the, t uh, if they're parallel, so for part C, parallel means have same gradient. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve the equation when dy by dx is equal to 3 over 2. Okay, so let's have a go at solving uh, that equation there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that what we had for the gradient 2y minus x, so 2y minus x over 2y subtract 2x, we're going to solve this equation when it's equal to 3 over 2. Okay, so let's multiply both sides by 2y minus 2x and 2. So we would get 2, 2y minus x 
is equal to 3, 2y minus 2x. Okay, so we get 4y minus 2x is equal to 6y minus 6x. And let's add 6x to both sides and take away uh, 4y. So we would get here that 4x is going to be equal to 2y. And divided by 2, y is equal to 2x. Now, we have that y is equal to 2x as a condition for this to be true. But the curve must also go through point Q. Now, the curve is the following equation here. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up solving uh, simultaneous equations between these two equations here. This is true um, when um, Q has the same gradient, 3 over 2, but also Q is on the curve. So these two must hold. So you're going to sub 1 into 2 and solve as follows. So we're going to have x squared, subtract 4x, multiply by y, which I'm going to put as 2x, plus 2, and then 2x all squared equals 1. So we're going to have x squared, subtract 8x squared. This here is going to be 4x squared, uh, plus, uh, times 2 is going to be plus an 8x squared is equal to 1. These cancel, and you have x squared is equal to 1. So therefore, x is 1 or x is equal to negative 1. Now when x was 1, we had up here that uh, y is equal to 2, so we can substitute into this one. So y is going to be 2 here. If x was negative 1, y would be equal to negative 2. So the coordinates we're looking for are negative 1 and negative 2. This was p, but these are the new coordinates, q here. And we're done.